YouTube is the most popular video sharing website on the internet and was founded in February 2005 as a consumer media website that enables people from all over the world to watch, upload, and share videos online. Today, YouTube has come to be one of the fastest growing websites on the internet. So why has it come to be so popular, specifically in the United States of America? There is only one explanation. Hegemony. Hegemony is a theory founded by Antonio Gramsci, and it focuses on the principle that the dominant class and their beliefs and values they carry are forced upon the lower classes. The dominant class inflicting their viewpoints on the inferior class then causes the lower class to adopt the dominating values as their own, even though it may not be in their best interest. Now it may seem a little peculiar to link hegemony to YouTube, but once a closer look is taken, it all comes into focus. First, let's start with American culture. America is a celebrity-led culture. The rise of a celebrity-based culture can be part attributed to America's changeover from a producing to a consuming society, as well as shift in cultural perspective away from character and towards personality rather than selfless public virtue. With a culture fixated on personality, the celebrity became a measure of success. From the early to mid-1900s, celebrity culture was becoming a national pastime. From the opera stars of 1906 to the 1920s, where Hollywood celebrities came to represent the quintessence of glamour. So what does the celebrity culture have to do with YouTube and hegemony? Celebrities carry with them some sort of dominating class message, whether it is through a specific show they do or some sort of endorsement. Behind each celebrity is the mold of the superior class. For the most part, these celebrities are products of the U.S. Combine that with the countless videos on YouTube of people doing their own stand-up comedy, singing their favorite pop star's tune, or enacting a scene from their favorite movie, and you have the formula for hegemony. The countless celebrities that Americans are exposed to every day due to their celebrity-led culture have inflicted the dominating values onto the inferior classes. The public then trying to make videos to emulate the celebrities' ways is a clear indicator of the responsiveness of these people to these dominating values. These dominant values usually are in reference to upper-class values. Take for example the Nationwide Research Project, which takes a look on how audience decode in line with preferred and dominant codes of news programs. When split into groups of young engineers, trade union officials, and young black college students, the findings show that the first two groups were the most closely in line with the dominant and preferred meetings of the show, whereas the black students were not. They felt that there was no identification in the show because their experience of lower class, inner city community families weren't represented. Therefore, media such as television shows do carry with them certain ruling upper class values that celebrities are used as a medium to relay these ideologies to American society. Another example on how YouTube is a reflection of the superior class is the rating system which it has on its website. You can rate any video and as well post comments. This system of judging other people's work seems quite similar to reality shows such as American Idol. The central media goals are to attract audience for prestige or income. YouTube is somewhat taking that ideology and applying it to the videos that are posted, however not for income per se, however for prestige. Any American can now be their own Paula or Simon. The ideologies presented through these celebrities on TV have transferred over onto YouTube via the acceptance of them by the American people. A recent article outlines a continuing trend of people getting recognized and brought into the celebrity system through their videos on YouTube. The article states, It is obvious now that the major networks have to start hiring YouTube stars. This statement might be seem peculiar to some, but after carefully analyzing it, it makes sense. The theory of hegemony states that by dominating the belief system of the working class, it reproduces the dominant class rule. Therefore, the media, mainly the TV industry, is attempting to maintain control over the celebrities and ideas that emerge from YouTube videos. This way, they will not have to relinquish any control and still have the superior values shining through. Although not all videos on YouTube have to do with celebrity culture, for the most part there is some link to the dominating values that are distributed by American celebrities that can be seen throughout. 
The theory of hegemony can be linked to these videos seen on YouTube, and the dominant American values and beliefs come shining through via the emulation of celebrities. That point of shame goes away just play.